Hi there everyone, I'm meteorologist Rochelle Peart with your Atlantic Tropics update for the afternoon of May 23rd, 2021. So here's a look at your tropical headlines. Anna actually became tropical very early on Sunday morning. Also going to take a look at those preseason forecasts and an updated update to the Atlantic hurricane season averages came out uh, about a month and a half ago. So we're going to take a look at some of those numbers as well. Taking a look at the Atlantic tropics, the Pacific, both central and eastern Pacific are completely quiet for right now in the Atlantic. We just have tropical depression and the system continues to weaken, has been weakening through pretty much the entire day on Sunday and will continue to do so until it fizzles out within the next 24 hours. Here's a look at the stats on Anna. You can see in this loop here, a little bit of that pretty decent looking circulation and then really falling apart into the last few frames there with the five o'clock advisory. It's 540 miles northeast of Bermuda. Winds now down to 35 miles an hour, but the movement speed of the storm has increased to 17 miles an hour and pressure 1,008 millibars. Now let's talk about that uh, transition from subtropical to tropical that Ann Anna did earlier this morning. Now it had increased convection, low level circulation had also developed by early Sunday morning. But as I mentioned just a second ago, it's not going to last much longer. Not just the tropical characteristics, but the storm overall is moving into very unfriendly territory. And taking a look at the track, as I mentioned, lifespan on this. It's coming to a quick, quick close by the time we head into Monday 2 a.m. Still with 35 mile an hour winds, but really falling off, turning into a remnant low and then eventually dissipating and probably getting absorbed by a larger system, either a trough or a cold front moving through. Now looking at the infrared satellite, this is where we look at the tops of the clouds. Uh, higher cloud tops equals more storm activity, more convection and similar to that uh, loop that we saw just a little bit ago, you can see that counterclockwise rotation with Anna, but it really loses those colors and those thunderstorms and that convective activity really starts to die out, get suppressed as we move closer to uh, the current time. Taking a look at the water vapor here, there's not much moist air for Anna to really feed off of, and there's quite a bit more dry air as you can see from um, the brown and tan colors, the moist air on the other side of the dry air. So Anna is much closer to that dry air and tropical systems. They do not like dry air at all. That actually uh, weakens them, suppresses the ability to grow and strengthen. So that's what we're seeing with Anna here. And as mentioned in previous updates, Anna has been moving through waters that are not conducive to tropical development at all. We like to see those waters if we are looking for tropical development to be warmer than 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we're seeing and where Anna is moving 74, 72 and then not too far off to the north and east 60. So yeah, this storm is moving into very unfriendly territories with multiple uh, factors in play that are unfriendly. And another one of those is wind shear. And what we're talking about with wind shear is the change in wind direction or the change in wind speed as we go from the surface to higher up in the atmosphere and anywhere that you're seeing a color shading, whether it's green, red, blue, that's where we're moving into areas with more uh, wind shear in place. And you can also see have the uh, sea surface temperatures on top of that as well. So we've got the dry air, sea surface temperatures and increased wind shear all working against on a, uh, and contributing to the storm's demise. Now I do want to talk about the Atlantic hurricane season outlooks. NOAA just came out in the last week. Um, 13 to 20 named storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes is what uh, NOAA is expecting and major hurricanes anywhere between 3 to 5. When it comes to Colorado State, their forecast is 17 named storms, 8 hurricanes and 4 major hurricanes. Now the averages have actually changed. We'd actually have new 30 year normals that just came out within the last six or so weeks. And here's a look at those numbers. Name storms went from 12 to 14. The average average hurricanes six to seven major hurricanes. The average has actually stayed the same. And so these new numbers 14, seven and three now reflect averages from 1991 to 2020. Before we had those averages from 1981 to 2010. So these are the numbers that we're going to be moving forward with as we go through the next 10 or so years. Looking at the Atlantic hurricane names, of course, we have Anna. Tropical storm is where it peaked. It continues to weaken and no longer will be anything to talk about after probably tomorrow morning, Monday morning. But we're continuing to watch. Hurricane season officially begins in nine days on June 1st. And taking a look at the graph to see 
number of storms per 100 years as we move through the Atlantic hurricane season. Of course, season starts on June 1st, but we do have storms that do form uh, during May as well. And even earlier, we've had storms in January and also into April as well. Peak of the season, not until September 10th. You can obviously see how high that graph goes. And then the season officially ends on November 30th. But again, we could see storms develop after that November 30th date as well. So we're keeping an eye on the tropics, not just for now, but also as we head through the next few months and even into later this year as well. So I hope you stick with 13 News now for your tropical updates. We probably won't see you tomorrow because not expecting any development in the next couple of days over in the tropics. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested, you can follow me on Twitter. You don't have to. Definitely want you, however, to subscribe and turn on our notifications so you're updated every single time we upload a tropics video. Once things start to get a little bit more active, we'll probably be uploading those videos a couple times per day every single day so you can check back for the latest right here with 13 News Now.